Hello, I'm Mike Ballard from Archangel Manufacturing and I'm here to give you an installation video for the Archangel AA QBD Quick Breakdown Rifle Stock for standard Ruger 1022 carbine. So this isn't for the Ruger Takedown Rifle, this is for the standard Ruger carbine. Uh, if you uh, want to begin here, we're going to be using a standard Ruger 1022 carbine. Um, all you'll need for this installation is a slotted screwdriver and a 5 30 seconds Allen wrench, preferably with a ball end. It makes removing the barrel clamp a little bit easier. I will also have a 5 30 seconds standard drive just to make things a little quicker for the, the camera here. First thing you want to do when you begin is you want to make sure that the weapon is unloaded. So I will lock the bolt back, drop the magazine, then remove the magazine from the work area, make sure that there's nothing in the chamber, we're ready to begin. Um, the first thing you're going to do is you're going to use a slotted screwdriver to remove the barrel band from the rifle. Usually just a few turns and then you can slip this barrel band off the front of the stock in the action and put it aside. We won't be using that again with the new QBD stock. Next you're going to be removing this screw on the bottom. Some of these are slotted but in this case this is a 5 30 seconds Allen wrench. So I'm going to remove this action screw and then I'm going to center the safety. This prevents damage to the stock while the action is being rotated out of the stock. Now some people have problems with the pins dropping out of the side of this. If you do have the issue with the pins dropping uh, easily, uh, a couple pieces of scotch tape over these areas will prevent those from falling out while you're doing your installation. Uh, if they're staying in tight like this, it shouldn't be a problem. Now, uh, the barrels, on some are very loose, on some are tight. Uh, generally, the newer ones uh, are a little bit tighter to get out. Um, I've seen some kind of compound on some, and some are just a tight press fit. Uh, so what you want to do is remove these two screws on the front of the V-block, and a uh, very simple 5 30 seconds Allen wrench. You don't want to loosen them up a little bit. And then with the ball end, it makes it quite a bit easier to rotate these out so you clear the barrel. After you have these screws out, you remove those and then remove your V-block. We will not be using this V-block or the screws for the installation of the QBD stock. Now some Rugers have a tight fit between the barrel and the action, or the receiver I should say. Um, uh, generally removing the barrel is pretty easy, uh, but if you do have one that is giving you trouble, heating the receiver, this aluminum receiver with a hair dryer, uh, get it a little bit warm, uh, or you can use a heat gun, but just keep it enough, far enough away that you don't over temp this. You just want to get it warm, you don't want to get it too hot. And then uh, you can remove the barrel. if uh, you still have issues getting this thing to budge. Sometimes they're tight, most of the time they're not. You can use an adjustable wrench between this flat and the top of the barrel. I will usually use two layers of blue masking tape right over this area to protect the barrel's finish. And then with the bolt locked open so it doesn't strike the extractor, I want to use a small adjustable wrench and be able to turn this barrel slightly left and right as you pull it out. With a little bit of heat on the receiver will allow this barrel to be removed easily. After you get the barrel off, you're going to want to take a little acetone and remove any debris that is on this barrel. Sometimes a little bit of a thread lock compound or something like that on it, you'll want to remove that. You can also clean the, any debris from the inside of the action. If it's a little tight, just installing and removing it a few times will get you a nice slip fit. Okay? Put the barrel aside, and then you're going to take your barreled action and put it aside, and then we're going to get our new stock out. The QBD stock comes packaged like this. In 
inside it, you're going to find an installation and operating instructions, a little baggie with your new action screw, and your stock. The QBD stock has an aluminum bed block for very secure mounting and stability. It is a tight fit and there will be some tension at the front which increases accuracy. Now the stock itself is easy, easily deployable. You just uh, pull it from the back of the stock and then lock it into place. There's a button here that you push to facilitate folding and then there's a button here that removes the barrel from the storage compartment. To open the storage compartment you put a thumb on one side and a finger on the other and push them together and pull back at the same time and then the storage compartment can open easily. There is room for a couple pairs of earplugs down here and then a bore snake or other items can go up top. To install your action you're going to want to open the toggle. That's this lever here. You're going to open the toggle up. You're going to make sure that your safety is centered on the action and then you're going to want to place the rear end first and then rotate it down and into the stock. At this point you'll need your action screw which is in that baggie I showed you before here. Now you can install this with a little drop of number 242 Loctite. Just a little bit on the threads here. I'm going to forego that step for the installation of this video but uh, if you want to apply that you can. Put the screw through the bottom there. I will usually take my fingers and thread it a few threads just to make sure that it's not cross threaded. And then take your 5 30 seconds Allen wrench and drive it home. Now there are torque specs included with the instructions but in this case I'm just going to snug it down nice and tight. Okay. Now I've got my barrel clamp open. It's already ready to install your barrel. All you do is put the barrel into the action and you can see that the sight can be misaligned and when you close the lever you'll notice that it actually aligns the sight. Now you can fine tune that by putting layers of tape in the notch on your barrel which is outlined in the instructions but uh, usually just the action of closing it will get it very well aligned. Now adjusting the tension of the um, adjuster here it's righty tighty lefty loosey so I'll go a little tighter on this toggle over nicely there you go all installed when you want to break this down it's very easy you just open your toggle remove your barrel close the toggle fold your stock by pressing this button that says fold on it snap the stock onto its body and then drop the barrel down into the stock or it'll lock in place. And there you have your broken down Ruger 1022 ready to backpack or put in a small uh, container for whatever it is you're going to be doing in the outdoors. When you want to deploy it, it's real simple. Pull the two apart, lock the buttstock in place, push this button here in the buttstock, remove the barrel, open the toggle, install the barrel, toggle it over easy as that, you're ready to go. That concludes the installation of the AA QBD rifle stock for Ruger 1022 rifles.